All right, so I had reptiles, and I've always had a fascination with reptiles. You know what I'm saying? I had iguanas. I had bearded dragons. Um, excuse me. I had uh, a few. You know, I had a snake at one point, and it was cool, man. You know what I'm saying? It was very cool, but I'm very appreciative for them for for being able to have them because I actually know a lot about them too. So here's the funny part is. I had an iguana, and I lived in New York at this particular point in time when I had these iguanas. I had no kids either, but sorry, but my mouth felt dry. So iguanas, for example, they need to be they need to be in hotter climates. You know what I'm saying? They're cold-blooded animals, so I couldn't have it outside of the tank. Too much if it was too cold in my apartment or if, if it was winter time, you know what I'm saying? But they 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 like to roam around free around the house, but sometimes the house got a little too cold, you know what I'm saying? So they need to be in warmer climates and they also need to have plenty of sunlight. You see, in the winter time, especially in New York, there's not a lot of sunlight. So what did I have to do? I had a I had a nice size tank, I had a nice big tank, but I also had a, a, a sun lamp which assimilated like what the sun would give, you know, the reptile if it was out in the wild. You get what I'm saying? So, they in the wild, they also eat a lot of, uh, you know, leafy greens, berries, all different types of, you know, foods like greens and berries and, and vegetation and whatnot. And the more the variety, the better it was for the, for the iguana. But then you got bearded dragons, you got Komodo dragon snakes. These things eat flesh. They're, they're actually carnivores. You know what I'm saying? But I want to talk about the iguana in particular. All right. Because the iguana is not a meat eater. And if you gave it any type of animal protein, it would be really bad on their kidneys. And you could kill the animal, you know what I'm saying? Or kill the, the iguana, the reptile. So, uh, they had these, because uh, there's people who don't want to buy all these greens and whatnot. And what they did was they bought these, these pellets. And it would have all the nutrients that they would get from greens and fruits and all that. And this is what, you know, certain people would give them, but they also sold it with a calcium powder that you had to put on top of the food because see, these animals are very sensitive where if they didn't get enough calcium, then it would uh, make their bones brittle. See, they become more, iguanas are beautiful reptiles, beautiful creatures. And that's what has me drawn to them. They got these big, long spikes in the back, these big gizzards here. And, and they're just, you know, they're scales. They got these big claws. I mean, they're just beautiful animals. And the colors, uh, I had a red one and a green one. And they have they have a blue one and, a, and a, I believe a yellow one or whatnot. But um, iguanas are beautiful. And if you had them, let's say, in nature natural sunlight eating the the stuff that they have available in in nature think about this let's say if i was buying the fruits and the greens instead of buying these pellets i was buying them from the supermarket you know what i'm saying it still wouldn't have the actual bacteria that they would get from the fruits or greens in the wild kind of like what humans get in the form of b12 which is a bacteria and whatnot but then again that would have to be imbalanced to other things you're eating that is actually not keeping your systems in shape for it to actually have a suitable environment for this bacteria to actually be able to thrive inside your stomach. You know what I'm saying? It's equivalent to, you know, you living on Earth and then putting you in Mars, you wouldn't be able to do it. You know what I'm saying? Mars wouldn't be a stable, suitable environment for humans. So you would need an Earth-like environment. So when you eat certain things, it is creating a certain environment in that globe because that's a circular world down there there's a lot going on down there all health starts in the gut you know what i'm saying but you use this you can alter that too you get what i'm saying because a lot of people will start to to, to depend on things outside of them to reset that when at the end of the day all you need is this and and just zip your mouth not eat you know what i'm saying uh and in, in extreme cases you would have to just flush things out you get what i'm saying but that that doesn't necessarily have to be what you do you could just kind of know if you need to do that based on the current health and state of being that you're in you know what i'm saying or how much you have in there that needs to come out so i don't know where i was going with that all right so oh yeah the iguana so uh what i was saying was is that they have to have a calcium supplement but now here's the thing though there's the funny part when they're in nature they have the sunlight Okay, so they're getting a lot of a lot of that D on their skin and they're able to process and metabolize that food properly. 
You get what I'm saying? So, and it was also giving, the, like, because we talk about temperature and heat and whatnot. It, it's, it's, it's funny how, you know, I, I touch the soil and whatnot. And, and it's like, I, I, sometimes I feel like the heat does come from the earth sometimes also at certain certain temp uh, uh, certain seasons you know what i'm saying the, the, there's a lot of uh, uh, uh heat that does come from the earth too it's not just coming from the sun all right but uh you know these iguanas uh when you when you're giving them the fruits and greens and veggies from the from the supermarket these fruits greens and veggies actually all have pesticides you know what i'm saying and they've been washed of all the natural Bacteria. It's kind of like when you have milk. Milk is beneficial, but they pasteurize it. So they kill all the beneficial <laughs> bacteria in the milk. You get what I'm saying? All, all the probiotic in the milk is all destroyed when you heat the milk up. So it's the same thing that happens when you have, uh, uh, you know, these fruits and veggies. The same thing with humans. I'm talking humans too. Because think, you, you are the reptiles. You are reptiles. You have a reptilian brainstem. But, you know, the beauty part about the animal that you are is no different than animals like a cat. A cat to me is a snake and a fucking tiger or a lion. Because if you look at cats, all right, cats, the prints on their fur look exactly like a snake sometimes. And then if you look at how their eyes look and their 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 demeanor, it's very snake-like. You get what I'm saying? So cats are kind of like a hybrid between a couple of animals. Now, you're a hybrid animal as well. But you have reptilian to you. You know what I'm saying? Then you have the mammalian side to you. So using these things with your consciousness is the advantage that we have over all other animals. That's the thing. But when you use when you don't use them and, and you're just steered like a sheep, you know what I'm saying? Then you're no different than any of the other animals that you see outside of you. You know what I'm saying? Just domesticated creatures, and that's it. But Here's what I was gonna get to with the uh, with the iguanas. So, the 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 sunlight when it was in the tank, all right, is assimilating the sun, and I'm seeing this iguana just chilling there, basking in that light, and it thinks that's the sun. You get what I'm saying? Now the way I look at it is no different than, and that's that sunlight is not really doing much for that iguana. That 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 sun lamp is not doing much for the iguana. It's not doing what the actual sun outside is actually capable of doing for the iguana as far as like you know vigorous growth and all the benefits that the sun gives the iguana you know what i'm saying that lamp is just assimilating it so it's able to survive in there and thrive but it's not fully getting the full potential of how it could grow or the full potential of uh the ability let's say that these iguanas have in the in the wild they're able to jump higher they're able to you know run faster they're able to do many many things they're also exposed to a lot of predators yeah like in captivity of course they're not exposed to any of that but that's they're domesticated so that surviving savage side of them is actually dormant like if i was to actually let go of a domesticated iguana into the wild it would probably die you know what i'm saying because all those features went dormant so i start to look at humans and the animals were here first. And the way I look at it is if we can only see 0.1% of the color spectrum, then how do we know that this sunlight that we're basking in is no different than an iguana in the tank basking in that sunlight? You know what I'm saying? In that sun lamp. How do we know that we are not part of another sun that where we're supposed to see way more of the color spectrum and actually have more abilities? Say iguanas, again, they jump higher, they run faster, they do a lot of more different things than they would in captivity. In captivity, they're kept in a tank. How much space does an iguana have to literally, let's say, in the wild, they jump from one tree to another, or they, they, they can run, they can do different things, or, you know, go up in high areas and basically observe a vast scenery. What are they observing in a tank? You get what I'm saying? Sometimes we put this imitation backboard to look like nature, but it's not nature. You get what I'm saying? So it's, like, it's kind of like they're in a space within a space. And I feel like humans are in a space within a space. And if we realize that we have much limitations where we could probably do shit that we wouldn't even imagine, but it's no different than us just being in a tank, like an iguana. You know what I'm saying? So what are we really eating? Everything is fake. The iguana, they give them pellets and it's assimilating 
all the nutrients it needs just to keep it alive. You know what I'm saying? Even if you were to give it natural food, it still doesn't have the proper bacteria unless you put the iguana out in the wild. You get what I'm saying? And it's exposed to its sunlight because it is suitable for that animal. See, this sunlight is not suitable for us. See, the lamp is not suitable for the iguana the way that the sun is. But this sun ain't suitable for us the way that another sun would probably be suitable for us. You get what I'm saying? Now, we talk about there's distortions and, you know what I'm saying, like Wi-Fi and heavy metals and all that. What if there wasn't? What if we still would just pretty much get what we get from the sun? Because it's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, this is not a video to disempower anybody or, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it's just basically to have an open mind toward the possibilities that you're not limited. You know what I'm saying? There is much more. But what if all this is possible with just an open mind? And when your mind is open, you can now have access to certain things that you weren't able to process before. Because it's all information anyway. What you eat is information. But if you get no information, let's say on a cellular level, cellular phones, I mentioned that in one of my previous videos, need good reception for you to be able to have a clear communication with somebody, right? Or with Wi-Fi. We are wireless beings. We're antennas. But how do we know that in order for, ha for us to have proper reception, we need to have the proper connection on a cellular level to have good reception. You know what I'm saying? And all that within us is just basically all bacteria and viruses and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? And we're here further doing it, especially in this month of November with masks and all that. Now, they're setting up scenarios, you know what I'm saying? Like these big YouTube channels. I'm seeing them say that there's a, a second wave coming. There's going to be a food shortage and all that. Again, the mentality and where, where, where the now moment and being... You see, simple mindedness sometimes is a good thing. You know what I'm saying? When you overthink things, I notice because I've done that. I've overthunk things. I've, I've, and it, it doesn't, doesn't benefit me, man. It doesn't benefit me. The moment I just put myself in the state of being that I know I want to be in, it, not to think in the future, but the future is bringing that future to me now, and I am there now. Doesn't matter how I get there. That's the whole thing. See, a lot of people think about, but man, that's what I want. But how the fuck am I going to accomplish that? That's you already overthinking it. And the fact that you say, how can I accomplish that is already you closing the doors to accepting that in your life. So it's basically coming down to bringing that circumstance to you. You, ha you don't have to chase anything. You, with your mind, bring the circumstance to you and then you immerse yourself into it. You eat that and then you have an emotion about it. And after that, it's done. That's where you got March. And you march into April, the head now. Okay? You spring. And then from there, I mean, you don't overthink it. You let it go. You don't think about it no more. It is already done. It's going to happen. Doesn't matter how it happens. The moment you start thinking about how it happens, you're, 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 you're taking over something that, that has nothing to do with you. You know what I'm saying? And you close yourself off to that. Has this worked for me? Oh, absolutely. But when you do that, it requires physical work. You have to do the work now for it to happen in your reality. It doesn't just fall on your lap. You have to align yourself with what it is that you already perceive in your mind as it being done already. You get what I'm saying? Same thing with food. Same thing with any, anything you're doing. Just be present with it. Be present with the food you're eating. A lot of people just watch TV or, you know what I'm saying? Even while I'm taking a shit, you know what I'm saying? It's useful to me. After I take it, while I'm taking a shit or before I take a shit, I already know what I want coming out of me. You know what I'm saying? What I want coming out of me spiritually, mentally, and physically. You know what I'm saying? And people say, man, but that's such a religious lifestyle to live by. But it's not a religious lifestyle because at the end of the day, all you're doing is making it a lifestyle. That's all it is. Like if I go to the gym and I live a fitness lifestyle, that's a lifestyle. I don't have to work hard at thinking about it. It just becomes second nature to me now. So you can do something with the fitness industry. Some people become very popular and make a lot of money off the fitness industry. Even open up a supplement line. You get what I'm saying? 
But just because it's part of the system or is, you know what I'm saying, you don't demonize it because you can use it to your advantage. And once you have a big following or big, net, big network, I mean, the sky's the limit with what you could do with that. That's energy. That's energy. Because that's all the attention now on you. Same thing now if, if, if you're going to do it with whatever. It doesn't matter what it may be. It doesn't have to be just the fitness. Or it could be anything. You know what I'm saying? It could be anything. You utilize it to your advantage and live your best life yet. You know what I'm saying? Like not judging anything. Why would you need to judge it? You use it. If somebody became rich or is using it, you don't get mad at them. You're just not using You're not doing it. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. So... I literally came down to a lot of realization these past few weeks, actually. You know what I'm saying? And I know, I know what I want right now, like out of out of life. You know what I'm saying? And the game is becoming even more fun. You know what I mean? I think that's all I wanted to talk about in this video Because, you know, at the end of the day All I wanted to do was just talk about the iguana You know, you got the bearded dragons And then, listen, here's the thing There's reptiles that eat meat And there's reptiles that don't eat meat Which is crazy, right? So, <laughs> keep an open mind on that You know what I'm saying? All systems are not made or designed the same You get what I'm saying? And it just goes to show If all the food is fake anyway What the fuck are we all debating about? You know what I'm saying? You got people saying they've been 15 years vegan Other ones saying that they heal diseases with meat I do not doubt none of that shit I really don't Because your food could be your drug Or it could be your medicine Food and drug administration is in the same category You know what I'm saying That's why the placebo nocebo effect works But at the end of the day It doesn't matter what you believe or don't believe in See here's the thing See if it's working for you And if you're comfortable If it's resonating with you You know what I'm saying and sometimes it just goes by levels of perceiving things. You know what I'm saying? Like the way I perceive things now is not the same as when I perceived it along, you know, just a couple of years ago. You know what I'm saying? A couple of years ago, I saw shit way different. You know what I'm saying? Completely different than when I see it now. So it's just different levels and, and where people are at. And if you know you've been there already, then how can you judge that when you know you've been there already and you know where you're at now? See, because if you judge, that means you're not even present with where you're at now. If you know where you're at now and you say, man, this motherfucker is at a spot where I was at. That means you're present with what you're at now. But if you completely got yourself out of your most empowered present moment, that means that you got yourself into the frequency of that person that you were at at one time, which is a much lower frequency. You get what I'm saying? But then if you know better, then that's why you got no nut November, but not no nut. K-N-O-W, not November. Nut is just nutrition. <laughs> and you're nourishing yourself in many different ways. You know what I'm saying? But when, you, when you're when you nourishing yourself, now you got the real nut November. You know? So, we'll talk soon.